In this video I'll show you how to export tracks in the project into audio files or stems. There are a few reasons why you might want to do this. For example, in this project I have finished the production stage, made all the creative arrangement decisions, and the track is basically ready to be mixed. I think you'll get much better results if you first commit to your ideas and then export your tracks for mixdown session. Or maybe you're planning to prepare stems for a mixing engineer. If you open Mixer, you can see that I did some basic EQ adjustments and added some effects while I was working on the arrangement. But my main goal was to actually build the song and leave the technical decisions for later. Before you even consider exporting your audio, make sure your tracks are properly gain staged and you have some headroom to work with later. Minus 6 to minus 8 dB is probably where you want your levels to be. I have a limiter on my main output. I use it just to keep my levels even, so now it's time to disable it, so it's not affecting the individual tracks when I export them. I'll keep the compressor, it's very subtle in this project and I like the sound of it. Stems are a mix of multiple individual tracks, typically as drums, instruments, vocal and bass. Here I decided to group these three instruments into one summing track. It makes more sense to treat them as a single track when I mix later. You can export your project as a multitrack too if you want to preserve flexibility. Multitracks consist of all the individual elements of an audio production, each with their own dedicated track. In this project I want the kick drum to be a separate audio file, but I can group the rest of drums together as a drum stem. Make sure to name the tracks accordingly. I think it's all good now and we can export this project. To do so you'll need to select your tracks, go to File, Export, and here you can see that I have 8 tracks selected and ready to be exported. But just in case I will need more control over individual tracks, I'm going to export all tracks as audio files. This way I'll get both multi-tracks and stems too. In this window you can create a destination folder or bounce files anywhere you want. Range allows you to define what part of the project will be included in the audio files. Trimming silence will save you some memory. You'll see later how. I'm gonna keep the wave format and 24-bit is commonly used bit depth, so no changes here. You can bypass all the effects if needed. Include audio tail if your delays or reverbs are very long and exceed length of MIDI or audio track. Naming system allows you to specify how each of the files will be named. All my tracks are named properly, but still I think adding project name will make it easier for me to identify them later. Also you can add custom word if needed. All done, let's export it. Before we look at the exported files, let's quickly talk about buses. I generally don't use them that often and prefer placing effects directly on the track, but if you do, it's quite easy to print them as well. Don't forget to name your buses so you can tell them apart later. Then right-click on selected bus in Mixer and create a track so they can become visible in your main window. Now select the bus track and the source audio. And here you can basically repeat the process, except this time you'll need to choose to export only selected two tracks. Done. I have already created another project with all the exported files, so let's check it out. You can see that both individual and some tracks are now available for mixing. I have my drum stem, but also snare and claps. Also some files are trimmed because there was no information which saved me some memory. And from here I can start mixing the project without worrying about overloading CPU with all the instruments. It's good practice in general, because if you lose some of the samples or delete your VSTs with these stems, you can be sure that everything is exactly the way you have originally created it. I hope that was useful. Until next time.